So this is part one in a five-part series on the Autowit image search. I'm remaking a previous video because we're going to go way more in depth on everything you can do with the image search. In this video, all we're going to do is learn how to get the files for image searching. So image searching isn't a native feature of Autowit. You've got to download a library, which I believe has been ported from AutoHotKey. So this is the page you can get the files from. It's going to be linked in the description of this video. On page one of this form, Form, which is on the auto it form you can see some information about the image search it doesn't go into as much detail as we're planning on going into this only covers image search and image search area which image search area is searching in a region to actually download the files we're gonna go to page 4 in the first post on page 4 it's gonna have this file that says image search 2015 zip go ahead and download that save it and you're gonna need that for later if for whatever reason this website is down or you can't get to this I've uploaded it on Dropbox I'll have have the link to this file in the description. Inside of it, I've included a documentation file which covers all the different variables and everything you need to know about each uh, method that you can use with this. All of this information is included in the file that we're downloading, but I've taken liberty of putting it inside this text file in a more easy to understand way. It's ultimately up to you whether you get it from Dropbox or from the Autowit form. This is a zip file, so if you don't have any program that can open zip files like WinRAR or Auto, uh, sorry, WinRAR or 7-Zip, you're going to have to download that. It's really easy. Just open up your search engine, type in 7-Zip. If you're on Windows, I recommend that. I don't even know if this, uh, this auto it search image search works on Mac, but regardless, you can get 7-Zip from this website here, or you can get WinRAR. Choice is yours. So I've saved that zip file to my desktop in this folder, auto it image search tutorial. You can save it to wherever you want. I'm going to right click it, hover over 7-Zip and click extract here. If you don't see that option, just press the start button on your uh, Windows taskbar, type in 7-Zip or WinRAR, open it up, come to a place like this, copy the name or the path of uh, the folder that you have this zip file in, paste it in here, press enter, and you see the zip file, which you can double click on, and then you can drag it over. Now that it's extracted, we can go in here, and these are all the files we are going to need in order to make this work. As far as I understand, these are two Microsoft DLLs that we're going to need. These two are actual DLLs, which I believe are the ported versions from AutoHotKey. And this file right here, we're gonna be including in every single project that we wanna use image searching with. We won't be making our image searching bots inside of this file we're going to be making them separately and then including them in our separate auto it files so we've got the files but we're not actually ready to use them we have to do a couple things in order to make this image search 2015.au3 ready to be used with our projects so you're going to need to open this up there's two ways you can open it up you can right click on it and click edit script and you'll have this window pop up if that doesn't happen you can press start sci or sorry type in sci and you'll see sci te script editor or you could just press start scroll down to auto it the yeah, script editor click browse and type in the directory or get the directory and then double click on that I've gone ahead and zoomed in a little bit so it's easier for you to see, but there's three things we need to do. The very first thing is below where it says hashtag include screen capture .au3, type in hashtag or pound sign require admin. Once that's done, control S and then press F5 once and then you should be good. If it asks if you would like to run this as administrator, make sure to press yes. And then once it's done, go ahead and get rid of that message, that part we just typed where it says require admin. I'm not fully sure why we have to do this. I just know that none of this is going to work unless we do that. Next, where it says local B testing equals true, set that to false. And then go ahead and scroll down until you reach line 67. And you're going to see exit. Go ahead and delete that and then save. We removed that exit because every time the program runs, it would exit otherwise. And we don't want the program to exit after it finishes an image search. We want it to tell us what happened. All right, so again, make sure to save. And now we're done with this. We're now ready to use this in our programs. Here's what you do in order to include it in your projects. Type hashtag include less than sign the name of the image search file greater than sign and you're done. Now you just save it to the same folder you have the image search 2015.au3 in, the one that we were just editing a moment ago. We'll call this test. I've saved it. Now we're good to go and ready to use this. All right, so that's the end of part one. The way things are planned out now, part two is gonna be doing an image search on your entire desktop. Part three is gonna be doing an image search within a specific area of your desktop. Part four is going to be the wait for image feature and part five is going to be the wait for images feature. 
that's it thanks for watching you guys i'm really looking forward to this the image search is a really useful feature and i can't wait to see what you guys make with them have a good one